Now we're back to Exorcism, still JavaScript. This time I'm going to show you how to solve windowing system. It's connected to the concept of prototypes classes, so read, do this yourself, try to understand it. I'm just going to show you how I solved it. Let us dive right in. Right here, this is something that you should understand the instructions. We've got a screen size with an height and position X and Y. And top left position would be 0, 0 as coordinates. X increases to the right and Y increases when you go down. So again, top left is 0, 0. Task 1. We'll have to create a function and don't forget to export it. That's necessary in exorcism, so export function, it should be called size and we use width and height. We'll set this width to width and this height to height. And we've got Default values for it, 80 and 60, so let me add that. And additionally, we need a resize method. Let me add that below. We use prototype, so size.prototype.resize. And we've got new width and new height. If you're unsure about this way to write it, you can find it right here. So if this is totally new to you, we'll just use the same syntax. So this equals function resize, and then we use new width and new height. And now we set this width and this height to new width and new height. And now we should have passed task 1. Everything works. Let's jump to task two. We'll define position to store a window position. So this was the difference X and Y in the diagram above. And with an height, check the diagram again if you haven't yet fully understand what's the position and what's the size. We use the same syntax that we've used before. So we'll export the function position. Use X and Y for it. And the default values for it is 0, so for X and for Y, so we'll set that to 0. And now we'll simply add this dot X to X and this dot Y to Y. We should also define a method called move using new x and new y. So we write it the same way. Position.prototype.move equals function move using new x and new y. And then we'll set this x to new x and this y to new y.
So we've passed task two. Task three will define a program window class. So let us use this syntax. So we'll export the class program window. Inside we need a constructor. And again, this syntax is also shown in the instructions. So if this is totally new to you, read the instructions carefully and maybe check out my playlist using free code camp, object oriented programming, where this is also explained. We'll set this screen size to new size and use the values given 800 for width and 600 for height. And for this size, we'll set the new size to the initial values, so the default ones that are given. So we'll simply leave it empty and that should cover it. Finally, this dot position should be new position. And again, we'll use the default value of the instance that we've created in code line 19. So just new position and leave it empty. And I believe that's task three. Let me check it. Let's move on to task four. But be careful here. We should create a resize method, but it should be part of the program window class. So you need to check the final curly bracket. We need to be inside of code line 29, the export class program window. Then we'll add resize method using new size. And the way I've solved it is to create variables. And then I've used math max a math min on it. The values are given here and again I refer you to this diagram. You need to understand it. Top left was 0, 0 as position. Now for now we are talking about the size, so width and height. The minimum is always given, so it can't be less than 1. But the maximum we need to calculate that. But first let us see how we would define the new width and the new height and I've used mathmax for that. As I've said the minimum is given, so we can just use one here. And then we'll use the math.min for our new size. But we're talking about the width. And we need our max width, so whatever is smaller will be used. And then we'll check the math.max, so whatever is then bigger, one or what we've got out of math.min will be used for the new width. And for height we need to do the same, but obviously not to the width, but instead to height and max height. So now let us define max width and max height. And what we need for that is our screen size. For the width, obviously the specific width. And then we need to subtract the position 
in this case it's the x position so top left corner was 0 for x and if you move to the right it increases so wherever you start with the position you're going to have to subtract that from the width that we can use and same goes for height and the y position so top left again would be 0 for y and if you move down it would be a higher value And finally, don't forget to use this dot size dot resize using your new width and height. And this should solve this X size. If I haven't made any typos. And it seems like I didn't. So let's move on to task 5. We want to move the window and again it's still part of our program window class in code line 29. So omit the last curly bracket. And here we create a new move method. And it uses a parameter of type position so I call it new position. And we can almost exactly use the same that we've used for resize. But we'll have to tweak it a little bit and adjust the values. For example, here you can see the smallest position is now 0 instead of 1. Let me just copy paste this. And now we'll change it max width to max x. And the second one would be maximum for the y position. We need new x and new y. And now we need the size and the width right here to readjust it. And the size and height for our max y. We'll need to change 1 to 0, so this was the minimum as I've said. And now we'll need new position, not new size. And we need not width and height, we need x and y. And we need max x and max y. And finally, obviously, we want to use this dot position dot move using new x and new y. Let me check. Are we good with task five? And let's move on to the last one: change program window. This time we are out of our program window class, so we can jump to the last code line and then add export function. Let me call that change window. And it uses program window as input. So let me copy paste it. But usually you write it like this, so let me correct it. We now use this to adjust our values. We've got four in total, so width, height, x, and y. So we need to adjust the size and the position. At first, we need to move it to the top left. So I just use new position and leave it empty. So it's going to use the default values, which were 0, 0. And now we'll resize it. The values were given, new size, height was 300 and with 400, so 400, 300.
and then program window dot move new position and we need 100 for x and 150 for y so code line 58 was just needed to get to the starting point in the top left And this is how you can solve windowing system on XSM using JavaScript. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.